Let's take a look at the most expensive Jeep I have ever seen. First of all, I was getting on the computer this morning to take a look and see what Jeeps were available in my area, just out of curiosity, right? So I go to my local dealer where I actually bought my Jeep and I pulled the site up and this is what I saw. Let's take a look. So uh, I'm on the screen here and I see this 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 392, like the holy grail of Jeeps right now, I guess, if you're into power and stuff. So the first thing that hits me, MSRP, $105,450. What? For a Jeep? Unbelievable. And then I see there is a market adjustment added to it. $10,000. That brings the price to $115,450 for this Jeep. So I thought we got to go in and look at this. So let's go ahead and uh, bring it up. By the way, they are offering a first responder bonus, consumer cash, $500 off, and a military program, $500 off. Not going to make much of a dent in that $115,000 price, right? So let's look at it. I mean, it's good looking, right? It's in this yellow color. Uh, it's the Rubicon. It's got bigger wheels or different wheels and bigger tires, a uh, black grill. It's got the hood scoop on it. I mean, it, it looks pretty sharp, I must admit. Um, looking at the details on it, let's see. It is the SRT Hemi 6.4 liter V8. I mean, it's, it's absurd, right? Got a great big honking V8 in it. Uh, fuel economy wise, I'm a little surprised. Not too bad for something of this uh, caliber, right? 13 in the city, 16 on the highway. But let's be honest, you're not buying this Jeep if you're looking for fuel economy, right? You're looking for power. So they do offer the window sticker here. Let's go ahead and pull that up. I want to see base price on this is 91000 my God, $91,545. It is in their high velocity uh, paint. And I guess they call it, uh, well, they call it high velocity clear coat exterior paint. I call it yellow. Uh, the interior is black with red interior colors and it has Napa leather seats that are black. I'm going to show you some pictures here at the end of the video and we'll run through some on the site as well. It does look pretty sharp. So moving on down here, it has an eight speed uh, automatic transmission. Uh, and then it shows listed as 35 inch uh, tires with a 392 Rubicon suspension. Uh, body color is Rubicon Highline Flare. I don't know. Has a hood scoop, as I mentioned. An off-road camera, off-road mode. Um, let's see. Let's uh, just highlight some of the stuff here. It's a third-gen heavy-duty Dana 44 front axle, floating rear axle. It has a 4.56 rear axle ratio. And then it says true lock rear axle, true lock front axle. Uh, moving on down, you've got your typical blind spot, safety, junk, who cares? I don't know. Uh, let's see, is this, this is an automatic. Yes, it is an automatic eight-speed. I guess I said that already, right? I was thinking maybe it would be a, a six-speed manual, but it's not. Uh, Uconnect five-inch, uh, 12 point, or Uconnect five, rather, with a 12.3-inch touchscreen display, um, eight-way power adjustable seats, um, and that is driver and passenger. It has, uh, let's see, lumbar driver and looks like lumbar passenger and heated front seats. Now let's move over to this other side, exterior features. It says it has a 17 by eight inch uh, wheel, uh, three piece hard top. This is the four door, by the way, not the, uh, not the two door. I don't think they make a 392 in a two-door. Could you imagine that V8 Hemi in a two-door Jeep Wrangler? Uh, that would be awesome, I think. Bronze tow hooks, an integrated window antenna, blah, blah, blah. 
Optional equipment. This is where they're going to add a little bit more uh, to get up to that $115,000 price, right? We've got the paint. They're charging you $595 for that yellow paint. I'd rather it wasn't yellow myself. Um, they have a dual door group, lowers only, half door with uppers, $4,695. Uh, windshield tie down my Bopar, $40. Uh, all weather floor mats, $170. Door off mirror kit, $195. Performance satin black grill. So that's that black grill you'll see on the front, $325. Uh, Sky One touch power top removable rear quarter windows, power top quarter window storage bag. Um, that whole package, I guess, $3,995. And then there is a worn wench, uh, $1,995. And then a destination charge of $1,895. That brings the cost of this Jeep to $105,450. We get to the one fifteen dollars again because of the, the dealer markup. Uh, nothing else interesting, I don't think, on this sticker. Let's go uh, back and see some pictures of this thing. You can see on the screen, let's just go ahead and bring it up, get rid of some of this junk on here. Uh, it is the yellow color, not bad. It actually looks pretty good on this. I had looked at a yellow two-door and chose to go with Anvil because I didn't like the yellow, but on this particular version, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, let's see, there's that front grill along with the worn winch, and that is the blacked out grill, of course. Notice the hood scoop up there. I kind of dig it on here. I assume it's functional with this Jeep. Uh, there's a good shot of the wheels and the tires. It's got the black Rubicon, Rubicon lettering, all that stuff on it. Uh, side shot, not bad, looks pretty good. There's a kind of rear angle shot, uh, not too bad. The rear, we have the great big giant honking tire on there. This is, as you can see down here, it is at Burt Ogden in Harlingen, Texas, in case uh, maybe you're interested in uh, in picking one of these up. I don't know. They only have one. Uh, moving on, let's see what else we can see. A close-up of the, of the wheels. Uh, there's the interior. Now, that looks a lot like the interior of my Jeep. As far as the gauge cluster, steering wheel controls, all that stuff, so you don't really get anything over the top special for $115,000. The seats, now I do like these. They're in a, a red leather, pretty cool looking seats. Uh, they did do a good job with these, I think. There is some red stitching and stuff you can see. I still don't dig that kind of canvas material they've used here in the dash area. It does have the bigger radio screen. I have that in my lowly Jeep, I guess. Let's move on. Uh, there's a, just a pick of the radio screen, another imp, or, uh, navigation screen, I guess. Rear of camera, same as what I have. And then a closer shot of the gauge cluster. Then they have the halogen uh, eye lights. Uh, I kind of like those. Those are cool. Uh, let's move on. Just a shot of the entry. There's a cross shot. You notice in the seats, they do have uh, some Rubicon stitching in there. That's pretty cool. Shot of the door with some stitching. Who cares? There's a shot of the rear. Uh, probably not going to be your typical family vehicle, but, you know, there you go. Another shot of the rear. Eh, typical with the red seats, which is sharp. This picture gives you a really good view of those red seats. I think they're pretty cool myself. Another shot there. And then the passenger side with that power seat, you notice down here, something I don't have in my Jeep Wrangler. Uh, a shot from across the passenger side, I guess you can see, let's go back to that. You can see, oops, well, I kind of think I went too far back. Are we gonna be able to see it? No, we're just gonna move on. Uh, here's a shot of the rear carpeted area, some tie downs and things in there. Does look like it has the subwoofer in the side. That's pretty cool. As you would expect in a $115,000 Jeep. Key fob, pretty normal. And here we go. The reason for the price tag, mostly. Uh, the 392 Hemi. Uh, this thing must be like a rocket ship, right? I love it. 
I don't love it for $115,000. You know, if I was a gazillionaire and had money to just, you know, burn, I suppose, why not? But uh, not something I would be interested in uh, for that kind of money. It's just uh, just absurd to me. Now, real quick, I just want to scan across here the other top two. You've got another Jeep Wrangler. This is a Rubicon X. 71,285 and then a regular I guess Wrangler Rubicon at $64,065. Pricing on these things is absurd. It's insane. That much money for a Jeep. Anyway, leave a comment. I am shocked. This is the most expensive Jeep I've ever seen. Leave a comment. Let me know. Ever seen a Jeep for that kind of money? I'd just be curious to know if you have. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.